I'm gonna have to return this. Clyde, don't you dare. But I don't deserve it. Are you kidding? So you missed one day out of what? A thousand? That's still pretty awesome, Clyde. <laughs> Perfect attendance, Lincoln. What do you think that means? Actually, I, uh, just discovered that I, uh... I'd like to make you my junior administrator. It's a lot of responsibility. You'll raise the flag every day, help Cheryl with the clerical work, weigh in on the cafeteria menu, oversee the hall monitors, and read the morning announcements. And if all goes well, who knows, McBride, who knows? Maybe someday you'll be sitting at this very desk. <gasps> I'm so happy you're here, Clyde. Land sakes, I can sure use the help of my new project. Digitizing all the student files. Student files? Does that include attendance records? Well, why wouldn't it, Junebug? <laughs> Lincoln, I've got a cold butterscotch! Cheryl's digitizing the school records and is going to find out that your attendance isn't perfect? Exactly, but I've got a plan. I'm in. I'm going back to school after Principal Huggins and Cheryl leave to remove my file. I'm in. Now, I know it sounds risky, and I understand if you don't want to get involved. I'm in. But it would really mean a lot to me if... Wait, did you say you're in? Three times. Oh, you're the best, buddy. Whew. Now no one will ever know I lied about my perfect attendance. Success. Success. <laughs> What is Norm still doing here? Do you think you hear what I just said? Probably not. He must have. These halls echo like the Grand Canyon. Now he's gonna tell Principal Huggins who interrogate me and I'll crumble like a cookie. That's what I do. There goes the dream I just discovered I had. Okay, take it easy, Clyde. We have to make sure Norm stays quiet. And I know how to do it. Toilets are all clean. How's it going out here? The soap scum and mildew are almost gone. I think we may be stuck with the smell forever, though. Loud? McBride? Uh, are you boys cleaning? Yep. Just thought you could use a little help. Wow. Much appreciated. I haven't touched this bathroom since the great flood of 2012. Well, now you don't have to. And you know what they say, Norm. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. We did it! Now no one will ever know I lied about my attendance record. Do you think Coach Bukowski heard what I just said? Probably not. He must have. The acoustics in here are like Carnegie Hall. Clyde, I really think... We have to make sure Coach stays quiet. And I know how to do it. Cloud? <gasps> McBride? What are you doing under my boat? Just taking care of those pesky barnacles for you, Coach. Gotta keep your vessel in tip-top shape. Why would you do that? Well, you know what they say, Coach. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. I don't think you got enough oxygen down there, McBride. Ma! I just scraped all the barnacles off the boat. Can I have my allowance now? Phew, that was a close one. If Coach B told Principal Huggins that I lied about my attendance record, oh, I'd be sunk. Yeah! Did Nurse Patty hear what I said about my attendance record? Does it even matter what I say? Of course you heard. The lake breeze carried my melodious voice. We have to make sure Nurse Patty stays quiet. And I know just how to do it. Clyde McBride is a big fat liar. Ah! My attendance isn't perfect at all and neither is my character. I don't deserve to be a junior administrator or a future principal. And because of all that, I hereby resign my post effective immediately. McBride, someone was just on the loudspeaker impersonating you. No, sir, that was me. I haven't been honest with you. I actually missed a day. I'm sorry about everything. Hold on now, Chase and Grants. You never missed a day of school. Yes, I did. April 5th, 2012. It's in my school journal. Well, nobody was at school that day, Sugar Dumpling. That was the Great Flood of 2012. School closed due to toilet explosion. Norm the janitor applies for emergency leave of absence. So my attendance record is perfect after all? As perfect as my mama's plum pudding on a Christmas morning. <sighs> okay, we may have to do armpit farts during King of the Ranks. Also, soda burps. It's okay, I can make this work. Uh, Clyde? The lettuce was ahead, and the tomato was trying to catch up. 
Luann, I love your brand of offbeat observational humor. Well, thank you, my good man. Give it up for the house band! <laughs> Rock stylings move both my heart and my feet. Cheers, mate! Uh, I'll thank you to stop bugging Clyde. We have a long night ahead of us. We're now a full minute behind schedule. But we can make that up if we don't waste time buttering the popcorn. That's fine. My dad say my cholesterol level could use a break. Dads! I got it! All right, Clyde, keep it going! I think my new face cream might cause hives. Can someone else try it first? Oh, Claude! Perfect! Actually, it's Clyde. This doesn't have peanuts in it, does it? Time for my Friday night brainwave study! <gasps> oh, a new subject. Dance! Dance, you fool! This is awesome! We got a runner! Aw, El Diablo likes you. Aw! Guys, enough! Leave Clyde alone. We have an itinerary. It's okay, Lincoln. We can just hang here with your sisters. What? No. I see my sisters enough as it is. This sleepover is supposed to be our night. It's princess makeover time. I need a toad to turn into a beautiful princess. <gasps> oh, you'll be a challenge. Clyde, come on. We got to get started. Hey, that's my toad. I hate to let the kid down, Lincoln. Start the movie and I'll be right in. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you would rather spend your time with my dumb sisters hey! than do all the things I planned for us. You are ruining the sleepover, Clyde. Fart time is out the window, and I seriously doubt we'll get to booger flicking. But, uh, Lincoln, we can still have fun doing this other stuff. You know what? Let's just forget the whole thing. The sleepover is officially canceled. Thanks for coming, Artie. I want you to know you are my first choice for a sleepover. Hey, I'm conducting a practice funeral and I need a corpse. How do you feel about enclosed spaces? So maybe not everyone can handle the Loud House. But I think I finally found the perfect candidate. He lives in between a freeway and a circus. Zach, my man! Ready for a great night? Oh, heck no. Huh. Now that surprises me. Isn't there anyone who can handle this house? Clyde, of course. He doesn't just handle it, he likes it. Little Bo Sleep, this is Slumberjack. Do you read? Wow, he must be really mad. Was I that big of a jerk? Oh, who asked you? <laughs> Clyde, you're still here? Sorry, Lincoln. I know you wanted me to leave, but I passed out. No, Clyde, I want you to stay. I was just at your house apologizing to someone. Oh, that must have been my stuffed animals. They kind of keep me company at night. Right, because you're an only child. No wonder you like hanging out with all of my sisters. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty lonely at my house. Dude, your story moves both my heart and my fingers. How about we start this sleepover again? You mean it? Definitely. Only this time... <gasps> we're gonna do what you want to do. <gasps> So, this is the first place that I saw the ghost. <gasps> Clyde, I found something over here. <gasps> uh, it's even grosser than I thought. Awesome. What is it? Ectoplasmic residue. Ghost scoop. I'll take some for further study. Mm, uh. We need to go. So 
he blows the putt for bogey, and then I'm all like, scrap the blade and use the rest. <laughs> Clear! Would you put those away? There are people in here. This is the spot where the ghost Arnold Palmered me. All I'm getting is floor wax and... Oh, somebody stepped in something. The spectral evidence has obviously been mopped away. We'll have to recreate the splash patterns to see what type of ghost we're dealing with. Hmm. Did it splash you like this? <laughs> or more like this? Neither! It didn't throw the drink at me. Ah, so maybe more like this? Oops, sorry. <laughs> we were just leaving. <laughs> Remember, this is a library, so I need you to be extra quiet. Got it! <laughs> Guys, what did I just say? Shh! Hi again. This is where the ghost started hurling books at me. Yeah, just like that. I'll save you, Lori! <laughs> Don't shoot me, Clyde! Shoot the ghost! <laughs> Ready? Aim! Ah, it's a nonfiction! Now it's in biographies! It's headed to the romance section! No, wait! It's coming back! So sorry. Uh, maybe this will help? Uh, gotta go! <laughs> Seriously? It had to go into the dark and creepy woods? Here, Lori! This spirit protection cloak will keep you safe! Um, this is just an ARG hoodie. Oh well, it's worth a shot. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's trying to communicate with us. I'll use a spirit translator. Don't forget to watch! Arg! That can't be right. Who was talking? More blasting! Ready? Aim! <laughs> Our batteries must have died! That's it! Listen up, ghost! You need to leave my sister alone! You're really scaring her, it's super messed up, and you should feel awful about yourself! It's working! The ghost responds to shame and guilt! Just like me! Leave Lori Loud alone! Leave Thank you. I knew you could do it, Clyde. Lincoln, I had my doubts, but you really pulled through. Thank you. I think? Finally, I can focus on getting ready for the tournament. Hey, where did you get that cookie? It was in the pocket. That's where I put that! Hey guys, check out my new outfit. It's perfect for fall weather and springing into action. Ugh, these belts are so 90s! The Eleven of Hearts! Whale Guard's getting away! Hey, Willie! Go fish! The Royal Flush! I see your bet and raise you! <laughs> the Joker! Why do you always have to play dirty cards? Cause that's the only way to clean up. So I guess it's off to jail for me. The end. That was awesome. awesome. Where'd you get the idea for all those butt kicking super ladies? From my sisters. They've always got my back. Except for Lola. You never turn your back on Lola. So if you fellas win the contest, they'll make this here into a real A savvy comic? And we'll get to meet the creator, Bill Buck. Bill Buck. Well, I think your comic's totally gonna win. Darn to Word. Loud, McBride, school time is meant for learning, not for doodling degenerate fantasies. This trash belongs to me now. But Principal Huggins, you can't take our comic. 
Oh, and now you're giving me sass. That's detention. Today, till five. But we have to get to the post office by four. That's the contest deadline. Oh, I didn't realize. I'll just give it back to you. Not! I've got just the thing to keep those doodling hands of yours busy. Cleaning erasers. But we're not criminals. All we did was make a comic, and we're getting it back. Dang it, he locked us in from the outside. <laughs> okay, plan B. We'll sharpen a bunch of pencils and dig our way out. Or I could just pick the lock. Not that your idea wasn't great. Lola? Why are you busting us out? Because we heard about Huggins confiscating your comic book. The one starring me as Queen of Diamonds. And me as the Royal Flush. You think we're going to let some power-tripping principal take away our chance to get famous? Sweet! Now we just got to find a way to sneak into Huggins' office and get our comic back. Maybe we can use your pencils. Forget that. Hop on! I tried, buddy. We gotta find a way to get Huggins out of his office. It's taken care of. Principal Huggins! Principal Huggins! We have got a situation in the gym! <laughs> I'm on it! Now we have to distract Cheryl. It's taken care of. Hello, Cheryl. I took the liberty of assessing the school budget and encountered numerous instances of wasteful spending. Oh, that's very cute, sweetie, but I'm sure everything here is in order. Item one. The two dozen fresh-cut roses you sent to yourself on Secretary's Day? Put on a pot of coffee, sweetie. We're gonna be here a while. Come on, come on, where is it? There! Problem solved, Cheryl. We got rid of the bats and Coach is resting comfortably after his rabies shot. I'm headed home for the day. You can let Loud and McBride out of detention at five, but only if the erasers are clean. <gasps> oh no, Huggins just took our comic home with him. And worse, we didn't finish cleaning the erasers. There goes Huggins. Oh girl, if I could, oh girl. I got eyes on the comic. Yeesh. Move it, lady! Oh, am I going too slow for you? Guys, we're literally losing him! Don't worry, he won't give us the slip! We still have five minutes to get into the post office! We should totally start a cookie business! We'd be the cookie kings of royal woods! Cookies! Cookies for everyone! Mr. McBride, Mr. Loud, you're needed in the tasting room. <laughs> Ooh, which of these new flavors should we release? Caramel crunch, mocha fudge, marshmallow swirl? All of them! I'm so sorry, Mr. McBride and Mr. Loud, but we've run out of room for all the money you're making. It'll be perfect. We've got everything we need. You're a baking genius, and you're great at getting people to buy stuff, like this shirt. I never thought I could do stripes. Now let's get out there and start taking orders. Yeah! Oh, but should we get that history project out of the way first? Homer can wait. When we're the cookie kings of royal woods, will anyone care how we did on some history project? <laughs> what history project? Let's do this! Huh? <laughs> Should I get her roses? Oh, those are played out. This Yay. anniversary, why not give her what she really wants? Cookies! Uh -huh. Here, try a sample. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> These rule! Oh, I'll take two dozen! Great! We'll just get your info and- Hey! Quit stealing my customers! Ah! Hey guys, 
What you doing at my soccer practice? Ugh, need me to open a jar or something? Actually, we thought your team might like to order some cookies. Uh, come on, stinking. Athletes can't be slamming sugar. Actually, these are made with unsweetened applesauce, whole grains, and protein-packed peanut powder. Wow, wow! We'll take six dozen for our next match against Fern Valley. Looks like you've got a lot on your plate there, Mr. Lau. Why not let us handle the dessert menu? <laughs> Dang exhaust fan. Anyway, these cookies are out of this world. You got yourselves a deal. You know, running a business is a big responsibility. You boys want some pointers? It's not all a piece of cake. Thanks, Dad, but we're all set. Plus, we've got a hot lead on another potential sale. <laughs> Have fun, boys. Oh, ding, ding it. Catherine Mulligan reporting to you live from Sunset Canyon, where a riot has broken out. The cause? A clogged pudding dispenser. Where is our pudding? pudding? We're living! Fear not, senior citizens. We have the solution to your pudding problem. Cookies! Oh, oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. Oh, yummy. These are fantastic! Looks like we've got a new story. These delicious cookies. That's right, Catherine. We are Clink and McLeod Cookie Company. And we're open for business. Now, which one of you's got a gentle touch? Uh. Hey, guys, come look at the conveyor belt I rigged up. I think it'll help make things go a lot faster. I made it out of a treadmill your parents were getting rid of. See, we could do an assembly line and... Ah! Annabelle! No! Oh, I the the my two cookies! Whoa! Hey! Oh! Ah! Ah! Simon! Oh! Ah! Sorry! <laughs> One. We did it. <sighs> Here are the cookies for your anniversary, sir. Sorry they're so awful looking. We got you these as backup, too. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> also, we fixed the pudding machine. These were clogging it. <gasps> Those are scout stoppers. <laughs> you can't prove it. Ah, I get it, boys. Bit off a little more than you could chew. Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we definitely did. We thought we'd be the Cookie Kings of Royal Woods, but there's so much more to running a business than we realized. Managing employees, tracking inventory, wrangling dairy cows. <laughs> well, don't worry. There'll be plenty of time to figure it all out when you're older. Anyways, enjoy being a kid while you can. Will do. Bye, Mr. Love. Bye, Dad. I'll see you. Oh. It's like that zombie was coming right at us. I know. That's the 2160p LED touchscreen. Can I give it a try? Y yeah, sure. Wow, feels like it was built for me. That's the memory foam handle grips. They conform to each individual gamer's hand. Whoops, little grease spot. <laughs> I can't believe you got a Super Snap 95. They've been sold out for weeks. Yeah, my Nana Gail won it at bingo, though she thought it was a postage scale. Well, game over. Mind if I play again? Oh, sure. I was gonna suggest putting it back in its case and admiring it from afar, but go ahead. Guess you've got your weekend all mapped out. Well, actually, I can only play with this until 11.59 p.m. Tomorrow is screen-free Sunday. It's a new McBride house rule. My dads think we need one day a week to completely unplug. I guess that fits right in with your meatless Mondays and wheatless Wednesdays. Game over. Dang it! You know, Clyde, since you have to unplug tomorrow, maybe I could borrow the snap. Uh, you mean like at your house? As long as you're cool with it. <gasps> Is that the snap? Give me, give me, give me! Okay, Clyde, you know you're not comfortable with this. Just tell him the truth. You don't want him to borrow it. Of course you can borrow it. I'll bring it over tomorrow. Thanks, 
Thanks, buddy. Dang it, Clyde. What was that? You know what, Clyde? You changed your mind about borrowing the console? No worries. These things happen. No, I probably don't say this enough, but I'm really lucky to have a best friend who's so cool about sharing his stuff. That's me. Mr. Very Cool About Sharing His Stuff. <laughs> Geology. I don't make no apology. I'll apologize to Lisa later. Make the dough. Throw it high, down below. Throw it high. Watch closely, son. The key to a good pizza crust is loft. You can't be afraid to give it a good toss. Okay, maybe a bit too much loft. Hands off that pizza, grouse! Ugh. Whoa! <sighs> Kids, dinner! Oh no! <gasps> Okay, Clyde, just write this out till everyone is done eating. <sighs> Actually, this isn't so bad. It's kind of cozy under here. <coughs> Woo! My compliments to the chef. <coughs> oh, oh, hey, Charles. Who's a good boy? Want a snacky? Come on, Charles. Eat it. <coughs> Charles! No, no, no. I don't even like sausage. Here, you can have it. <coughs> ah! Ah! Charles, why are you so mad? Clyde? Why are you under the table? <gasps> Lincoln! You invite your friend to dinner and you don't even give him a chair? That's rude! I didn't invite him. That's even ruder. Clearly he's hungry. Uh, Clyde, what's going on? Lincoln, can I talk to you for a sec? In private? <laughs> what's up, Clyde? Well, I've been following you around all day because I was worried about the snap. I never wanted to let you borrow it in the first place. <laughs> Drama! Fight! 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 Will you guys grow up? Says the guy having a confab under the dining room table. Come on, Clyde. So why didn't you want me to borrow the snap? I was afraid something was gonna happen to it. I'm pretty particular about my stuff. And you're, um, a little less particular? And then you throw in your ten sisters and- Clyde, if that's how you felt, why didn't you just tell me? I was afraid you'd be hurt, and our friendship would be over. And I'd be destined to walk through life alone and become one of those people who only talk to cats. <coughs> God, it's happening again! Clyde, that's ridiculous. I might have been a little hurt at first, but I would have understood. I know I'm not as careful with my stuff as you are. No one is. Fair point. So, we're still friends? Of course we are. Thanks for understanding. I promise to be more honest in the future. And you've given me a lot to talk about on Therapy Thursday. Here's your snapback. Thanks, buddy. Well, I should probably get home. <laughs>